Hello kitties, Carnage the Clown coming to you live from Twisted Humor Custom Shop, representing the KPM crew. Um, this is more for shits and giggles, and uh, I'm going to actually give you guys a little update on the hearse. Um, I did paint it at one point, and the two paints that I did use didn't um, set right with each other, so it started bubbling up on me and actually pulling off a certain paint off the model. So I threw it in pine saw for three days and then scraped it and I bondled it, the whole body, and then been sanding it down. But this is more for um, my homie Redneck 2 and the KPM crew. Uh, so I'm going to turn some lights off for a minute. Um, this is the 99 Silverado, as you can see, with some neons on it. Oh yeah. You like that, huh? Shines. So, but that's not it. So I'm going to turn off another light over here. And, uh, one more light. And, uh, I said, what the fuck? So, here's the lights on the garage. As you can see, they're going pretty good. But, uh, 55 Chevy. It's got some interior red lights going on in this bad boy. Yeah. Oh, so is the little golf. It's got some neons in the back. Um, that's how it's going to be showing. And then the wagon, purple, 55 No Man. It's got some neons going in the back of that bad boy, too. So, I got another wagon that's going to have some green neons in it. But, uh, just for a little shits and giggles. Um,. The other ones I don't know about, I'm going to, but the Silverado is actually going to, the blue neons are going to stay on it. I'm going to, um, modify them into there, so all I got to do is push a button, but all they are is at the dollar store. These are finger lights, they're called, get them for a buck, and, uh, easy to take apart and just make sure you got a positive and negative for the battery and uh, if you want to put a kill switch on you can or just you know, disconnect the battery whatever you want to do you know but uh yeah that's all they look like there's a, th a pack of three there's green red and blue um, I had them on before a long time ago on something um, I actually bought a real set of neons from a uh, hopping hydro and I was gonna put on the truck and uh, once I started putting them through the body as you can see I modified the body a little bit little holes right there um, they were gonna go around the frame I actually modified inside the um, bed right there to have the, the kit and wires and all that in the back but once I put it all the way through and went to turn them on I broke the neons so that was 12 bucks down the drain but uh it's just a little update you know just bullshitting around I got tired of sanding so I figured I'd you know throw something on the Silverado for my homie redneck uh, I did build that out of a trade that we uh, we did and uh, came out good so like I said, I got a couple other modifications to do to it, so it's not completely done. But, uh, just fucking around right now. So, uh, the sanding got done. But, uh, alright, moving on to the hearse. Um, I'm not gonna, like, show you guys a lot of the hearse. I'm gonna show you what I've done so far, but, alright, this is the bottom. Um, as you can see, this part in the frame is silver, and I left these white, and uh, this part inside white, because I'm going to tape all this off, and it's going to be color of the model. Um, this is the first coat of the interior, which is a candy apple red. I sprayed it over a silver, and uh, it came out more of a, like a pinkish look. So I'm going to hit primer on it and then respray it and see how that comes out. Um, I did black once and it didn't work. But uh, here's the hearse. 
I bondled it and I just been sanding it out. Um, only bondled, I bondled the whole car, but there's only certain areas that uh, I needed to fill in. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'll just fill in all, all areas so there's no little holes and ripples and scratches. Um, so I've got a, quite a few sanding to do. Um, as you can see, the bondle started to crack right here, so I got to sand that out. Uh, it is going to be modified modification to it, so um, I may keep the door hinges into it, but um, I took out the door handles, and uh, there was holes in it where uh, like all the ladders and all the equipment that they had on it, as you can see there's holes right there, I had to fill those in, and when I first did it, um, Apparently the bondo didn't go in right and dry, so, but uh, yeah, this is step one of sanding the bondo, and uh, next step will be to uh, finish up the sanding, the rough spots, and then um, uh, 800 mil, I'm going to use uh, 800 sandpaper to it, um, I don't have anything any higher um, I may go out and buy some uh, 1000 just to get that real fine smoothness to it. I mean, it's pretty smooth right now. It's just a couple little areas. That it's got cracks that need to be really sand down pretty good. But uh, if uh, all in all goes what the way I want it, I'm going to probably finish sanding it tomorrow and then try to paint it, prime it at least to uh, get it ready for uh, paint. Um, the 71 Monte or the 70 Monte Carlo. Um, I just got done putting in pine saw, and then I've been letting it sit in soapy water for about six hours now. Um, whenever you do pine saw cleanup, you, uh, you have to let it soak in soapy water. Doesn't matter if it's warm or uh, cold. But uh, just let it soak for a couple hours. It uh, helps get the the pine saw off the kit, and then after that, you wash it and then uh, wipe it down really good. I usually just wipe it down and then let it dry, uh, air dry for a couple hours or maybe a day, just to uh, let it completely dry and then start working on it. But in this stage right now, I'll. Do a couple wet sands to it just to get some of the big spots off and uh go from there there's some glue areas too that need to be sand down so i'm gonna let that bad boy dry overnight and then uh start working on that too i already did the interior the dashboard uh just needs to be sand to uh, a point where i can start working with it um, there's a lot of layers on that car uh, my boy redneck had some uh, cool details onto it uh, it was a real true lowrider look to it but uh, I'm gonna do it the clown style so but uh, that's the updates and I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, thanks for watching peace